Hi, so kind of lost my voice this morning. I have a little bit of a cold, uh, which is good news because that means that the season is changing. So originally I was just going to go to two little cafes that I took you to. I was going to cancel my nature trip, um, but I decided to do it because I'm going to have a cold no matter where I am. Like if I go home, I <laughs> You know, so I'd rather be with the trees. I'm rarely over this far in the city. So this is near Hongje. It is part of Jarakil that goes around Anzhan. I've taken you here many times, but I just haven't been here in ages. Do you hear piano? I've got speakers somewhere. This is actually a really cool space because obviously the way that I'm going is not, but, um, the place where I am going to be ending up is the longest wheelchair accessible trail in Korea. Beautiful. Um, so that's where I'm heading. I'm going to focus on walking up because I'm congested and uh, haven't walked up these many stairs in a while. So I'll catch you guys later. But yeah, I am already feeling better, feeling happy with my choice to have come to the trees. Also, there are spiders everywhere and like huge so i will be staying on the trail see ya <laughs> That's so funny that that happened. My, I guess it was just last week, my last video, I was talking about how I've seen more and more people walking barefoot around Seoul, like specifically in nature, like for that purpose. There is a word for it. It's called like grounding or something, like literally touching grass or in this case, mud. So I was just talking about it last week and then I was like, what is happening? And I don't know if this is, this is a new thing, first of all, or at least, the last time I came here. I don't know if they'd keep it here because like clay dries out, but if it's gonna be raining, I don't know, but that was so interesting. So I still feel sick. It did not, this trip did not cure my cold, but it definitely kind of cured my soul. That was so just strange timing. What a trip. I will check and if that is there more often, you should definitely go because everyone was just so happy and like smiling at each other. And there's just something about being barefoot that I personally really miss. Like I rarely wore shoes outside in California, which is dangerous because of rattlesnakes. But I love, even if it's just concrete, like bare feet on the ground, I really love it. So um, it's nice to see that here and like understanding. I'm trying to learn like how to clean your feet before you get back in the house, you know? Not every place has a shower. So a lot of people here came prepared with like cloths to dry their feet and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna get into this. I'm gonna join them. This is gonna be my new thing if you see me walk around barefoot. And Kurt said that that's always kind of been a thing, but I think it's just being, maybe because I'm looking for it, I'm looking for feet now, is that? God, all right, well, on that note, see you at home. <laughs> Hello, um, 
I don't need to apologize to you for the air conditioning noise in the background because the air conditioner is off. Yes, it is 22 degrees outside. It feels, oh, oh, and information about um, how to get to where I went today. I actually have a blog post about it, which leads me so easily into thanking Squarespace as always for existing and also for sponsoring this video. Um, so I will link that blog post down below, but just to talk about Squarespace for a second, Squarespace is a wonderful place to host your online presence, hence why I use it for my blog. I've been using it for years. If you are trying to set up any kind of website, whether it is a blog or a shop or a online community, you can do it with Squarespace because they have things like connecting your social media accounts, a really cool comment section, membership subscription levels, even an email list and monetization features. So it's really whatever you want to do with it. Also really great free templates that make your website look really nice. So if you want to try Squarespace out, you can go to squarespace.com right now for free and set up your entire website and figure out how it would look. And then when you're ready to actually launch it to the public and go live, you can go to squarespace.com slash carrycakes and get 10% off of your first website or domain. Thank you as always to Squarespace for sponsoring this. So yeah, um, I will put all that information, link in the description box, but also the post about where I went today. Kurt is messaging me about dinner. I'm starving and it's only five. I am going to actually take a break from screens for the rest of the day. I think it's partially because of my cold, my congestion, um, but I'm just feeling like one of those headaches on the back of your eyes. So I'm just gonna get away from screens. I'm gonna kind of close my eyes and maybe listen to a podcast. And hopefully when I see you tomorrow, because I'm seeing Alex and Becca tomorrow, um, hopefully that will be gone. Anyway, um, but yeah, welcome to autumn. I'm calling it September 21st. I will catch you guys tomorrow with Becca and Alex. Okay. witchy outfit going on today unexpectedly um to see alex and becca we're gonna go get coffee and pastries let's go Monday. Um, I'm over here in the Samcheongdong area. I'll talk a little bit more about what we're doing today, but I didn't film this weekend. Um, took a little bit of a break and I'm very happy I did. I'm, I'm really working on trying to actually take days where I'm not, I feel like I'm not working. Um, it's a work in progress, but uh, yeah, I, I was relatively offline for the weekend, um, as was Kurt, which is a feat to get him to not work as well. And it was just so nice. It's It was quite funny though, the times that I did wanna like pull out my camera and talk to you guys, um, 
Oh, I need to get that footage from Kurt's camera actually because I didn't even bring my phone. We got coffee um, Saturday morning and all of a sudden it was just chaos on the street because there were these landscape crews that were taking all of the unhang, like the ginkgo fruit out of the trees. So they were just up in cherry pickers, like attacking the trees, trying to shake all of the fruit out and it was like raining on everybody it was insane so it was quite funny to watch that um because I get it it stinks it gets on the sidewalk but people are like really crazy about unhang smell here like they hate it so um that was fun to watch and then yeah we just had a good time ate good food hung out in some cafes and now it is Monday my friend Ray is here from Singapore. Haven't seen her in a million years. No exaggeration. And what else? I'm just enjoying that. I still can't get over this. This whole area used to be blocked off and was just like abandoned land. And now it's gorgeous and they're using it for beautiful things. Right now it's like they're getting ready for the Beniale or something, like some art um, architecture, lots of architecture stuff going on here. Um, so I'm going to walk around and avoid the swarm of dragonflies <laughs> that a uh, small group of preschoolers are trying to catch uh, with their nets. Oh my god, they're so cute. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to walk around here and then we're going to meet up with Ray. It's gorgeous. It's, it's autumn uh, flower time. Um, so I'll show you. The cosmos are out, which are my favorite. So let's go look. Is so blue and inside is so warm. <laughs> um, hi, so I am back from a wonderful day where I just literally sat and talked, as you can tell from my voice being gone, sat and talked to Ray for a really long time. Um, but I couldn't film because look at this haul. Ouch! What was that? Oh, luckiest girl in the world. Hold on. I was working with House of Doha to make a reel to introduce their new store, which is beautiful. And oh my gosh, I liked all of their old products, but they just released a collaboration with Tea Collective. Look at the packaging. There you go. It's all like very, I don't know, like impressionist-esque artwork. Um, and everything smells really good. So they were so nice and gave me like a whole new set of their stuff, which their sunscreen, amazing. And then Ray, cutest human, got me some Yuja candies, Yuzu candy, which 
I love. And then she got me a huge thing of these drip bag coffee things. The bag itself is gorgeous. Actually, the Aesop isn't for me. Um, I helped Kurt grab it because um, he is making his first Chuseok gift bag um, for his team. So we got some Aesop things and then he bought um, them each a book he thinks they would like, which I think is very cute. But because I bought something there, hold on, um, ouch, they gave us um, samples. I don't know why they gave me two, but I got a sample of their body balm and their body cleanser. But then because it's Chusa, they gave me a persimmon. Not quite ready. She said, let it sit for three days or so. But yeah, I have two persimmons. How exciting. Um, even though I'm leaving in three days. So that's okay. We'll cross that bridge. But anyway, Kurt is going to have dinner with a bunch of his friends. They're having like a little cute engineer pre Chuseok dinner, which is adorable. So, um, I have the house to myself tonight. I am going to do all the laundry that I need to do in order to pack. Um, I need to take a shower. I need to generally try to figure out what I'm packing. Time is ticking. So I'm going to focus on the laundry and the shower now. So I'll catch up with you a little bit later or tomorrow. It's supposed to start raining tonight and then rain all day tomorrow. So remember how I said I was really chill? I don't know when I said that. Whoever she was in the past that said, oh, it's really chill because I'm just going home. So, you know, I can be really chill about packing. <sighs> well, chill carry is gone <laughs> and I will uh, catch you in a sec. Okay, bye. <laughs> starving so I'm eating right now. I just wanted something hot and spicy and Becca was telling me that she really enjoyed this jjigae and I never get instant noodles. They're usually too salty for me but I used half a packet and it still tastes good and um yeah I'm just gonna eat this and then I'm watching an episode of the last season of sex education and then I'm gonna go meet Gisela. I think I'm pretty well packed actually so yeah I'll catch up with you in a little bit. I'm starved so <laughs> see ya.
we're back here again so soon i think i'm good i think we figured this out i i'm trying not to overpack because i also know that when i go home i want to hit target i want you know i'm gonna be bringing some some stuff home i had this organized and then last night i did this weird thing where i just ruined all my organization i've decided against the jean skirt am i gonna regret that no I'm not gonna regret it. Packing for going home is so difficult because I know I'm there for 11 days. I'm going to be spending at least seven of those just at home in my pajamas. The fanciest place we're gonna go is like Trader Joe's. So I don't need nice clothes. Also, hey, as I transition back into wearing jeans from summer of having not worn jeans in a while, I realized that my jeans fit, but they're all like definitely if I'm bloated one day, my jeans are going to be tight. You know how people say they have like standing jeans? That just doesn't make me feel good. So I decided I went out. These are from eight seconds, but I got jeans in like a pair bigger, almost two sizes bigger than I normally do. So they're baggy, but they just like feel good. So I highly recommend if you are especially Especially like after COVID, I feel like everybody's body's changed a little bit. I saw this one reel that was like, they made it look like it was a diet. Like, look at, I did this in, in just a week. How did my body change from this to this? And it showed her like really not fitting into her shorts and then looking amazing in what seemed like the same pair of shorts. And the secret was that she just bought a size bigger. If you're feeling just like a little stuffy in your clothes and it's making you not feel great get a size bigger and you're gonna feel better which makes you look even better or even more etc etc so anyway i'm gonna bring these jeans but i'm gonna bring these on the airplane yeah i think we're good and then i have this whole half of the um carry on is free it's just got my underwear in it so you don't need to see that i'll throw this in on the top and then i'm gonna bring i have my whole backpack i'm gonna bring my laptop this trip because i have work to do 24 hours to go everyone welcome to the united states of america um a relatively uneventful flight we flew to atlanta and we flew to newark and then our car wouldn't start and kurt made friends even though he has no license and has never driven a car he was trying to jump our car but we yeah it we got home hung out with louie it is seven o'clock and we're passing out we tried really hard um but we're gonna i'm gonna shower and um immediately fall asleep so i will catch you guys i'm gonna make a separate us vlog but um this is the end of my week and i didn't over stress about packing um everything went well so yeah i'm going to <sighs> say goodbye here before I pass out. Once again, thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this. It is kind of the end of the year, so if you are thinking of starting something, some project in the beginning of next year, go to squarespace.com right now and set up your whatever your vision is, your blog, your shop, um, to just see how it looks. And then if and when you are ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash carrycakes to get 10% off of your first website or domain. Um, so information will be down below. I am going to pass out and uh, I look, I look, yeah. <laughs> so I'll catch you guys, catch you guys later. Thank you always. Um, hope you're enjoying your Chuseok and 